hi welcome to a quick walk around video for our Mazda CX-5 um, first of all apologies for it being a bit noisy car wash is on the go here and I've got a few bits running to defrost for people to come and look at so I do apologize it's a little bit difficult to hear me um, right let's go around the car and have a look as you can see a nice light metallic blue I'll find out the Mazda name for the color put that on the advert so you can google it and compare it in different uh, lights and whatnot um, Zenon headlights headlight washers, front parking sensors, really quite a nice spec this one, uh, 19 inch alloys, uh, it's three Goodyear tyres and one Michelin, um, so premium tyres all round and the matching set not quite so important on this because it's not, although it looks like a big 4x4 it's not, it is two wheel drive so not quite so important to have the matching set. Um, Bodywork decent all round, you get the odd stone chip and bits and bobs here and there but no big dents or dings or scrapes that um, I felt it necessary to put it in body shop over. As you can see it's got the privacy glass starting there and going all the way around the back. Shark fin aerial on the top there for the sat nav. High level brake light up the top and you've got your reverse parking sensors down there as well. And there's your reversing camera. The parcel shelf slash blind is built in, comes up automatically there. Um, great big boot, massive inflation kit there. And then all your tools and towing eyes and things like that there. 12 volt point over there, storage. These release the back seats. Again, this is as dry as I could get it, I'm apologising again. Um, just with the weather at the moment, it's like minus three at the minute. It's very difficult for me to keep them all dry after sort of defrost them every morning. <coughs> There's your Michelin tyre, that's the odd one out if you like. It's got the keyless entry system, you can see here. So you just press that to lock and unlock the car. <coughs> sensors and whatnot. Show you the roof as well, not there's much to see there. Right, we'll have a look inside, I'll start at the back. Electric windows for the back, the mats are present. Uh, full leather in black with red stitching, perforated sections in the middle, looks really nice. Nice sort of quality feel to it, doesn't feel like cheap plastic leather or anything. Um, cup holders in there armrest if you're not using the centre seat. You've got your isofix points for the two outer rear seats. Loads of leg room. Mats are there. Magazine holders are there. Um, child locks just there. Other side. Obviously much the same. But nice to see everything. These aren't marks, that's just sort of wetness from where it's been validated yesterday. It just needs to be rubbed in. Into the front. Obviously electric windows in the front as well. Uh, Bose audio system. Mats are present in the front as well. Got the CX-5 logos on the front ones. Passenger seat, lovely condition. That is electric. Airbags up here. Owner's manuals, various bits of literature from the main dealer. Separate one for the nav and everything there as well. Other than that, not much else to see in the glove box. Uh, like a piano black type trim going through. Head round to the driver's side now, we'll have a look there. Electric windows as shown before with a lock, 
electric mirrors if you twist that round to that they will fold in and if you put it back they will fold back out mats as aforementioned a bit dirty from just me getting in and out uh, driver's electric seat has lumbar support as well and memory settings so a bit more advanced than the passenger seat you've got your airbags on the side there as well uh, traction control, tyre pressure, stop start and I don't know what AFS is, I have to google that I took the talking things I don't know what they are, there's this as well I've got no idea what that does so that's a little mission for google right there's the miles 96,000, no sorry 90,675 uh, yeah I was right with them I guess on the temperature, minus 3 potentially icy road conditions of course uh, auto wipers lights over that side they're auto as well multifunction leather trimmed steering wheel audio controls phone controls voice control ready cancel cancel cruise control over this side stop start button for the engine is your uh, infotainment system, I think they call it. So FM, AM, Bluetooth, USB, CD and auxiliary in terms of audio options. Link your phone up there. There's your sat nav. There's your setup where you can change the brightness and all that sort of stuff. Heating controls, dual zone climate control. I've got it on as hot as it'll go, obviously, to thaw the car out this morning. Heated seats, don't need that on really. Especially not a passenger one. Two keys, both the smart keys, so they just need to be on your person and you can get in the car, start it, stop it, get out, lock it, all without seeing the keys. Just needs to be one of them on you. Six speed manual gearbox. Uh, this is like um, almost like a shortcut control for everything there, so you don't have to press it on there when you're driving. You learn where these are and you can do that without taking your eyes off the road, I think is the idea. Uh, leather trimmed handbrake going in with the theme of the seats cup holder armrest click that up little storage tray that is removable or slides left to right there's your auxiliary inputs and on the left there is a 12 volt input as well so you have got some airbags up there we've got illuminated vanity mirrors car lighting sunglasses holder auto dimming rear view mirror and I think that's about everything that I can see um, really nice high spec car um, yeah lovely um, if I if I I will <laughs> take as many pictures as I can of the inside the outside and the paperwork along with this video hopefully that will give you a, you know a decent transparent view of what this car is actually like because more and more people are having these delivered now without even coming down to the site so hopefully that gives you the confidence you need if there's anything you want to discuss please just phone us and we'll put your mind at ease straight away um, obviously if you're more local to me and you want to pop down and have a look for yourself you're more than welcome to do so as well we just uh, ask that you please make an appointment first okay thank you very much for watching